Hello Roadrunner fans, this is JJ Perez with Inside Runner Sports and welcome back to another episode of the 13 Questions Podcast where I sit down and talk with different people inside of UTSA football throughout the 2023 football season and ask them the same 13 questions. We are in week 6 of the 2023 football season. The Roadrunners are 1-3 and three, coming off a idle week. Uh closing out their non-conference schedule uh took a week off because we had uh, limited media availability during the idle week uh actually just one day of interviews with coach trailer no players so um decided to take a week off for this podcast uh something i did last last year too so kind of a rough start for the roadrunners to be honest with you uh this season not the start that everyone was looking for utsa is one and three might have left what they feel like two losses on the table that could have been wins and certainly you know just uh overall a bad taste in the mouth of uh, a lot of the players the coaches and certainly the fan base a lot of angst out there with the roadrunners as they kind of make a new uh benchmark milestone in their short programs history as they open uh, American Athletic Conference play, uh, first game ever in the AAC this weekend at um, Temple. So uh, hopefully the Roadrunners are able to bounce back. We'll see. Uh, certainly a point of contention has been the play of the offense so far. Uh, certainly sporadic up and down. Uh, sounds like quarterback Frank Harris might play this weekend coming back from the turf toe. Uh, JT Clark may also be in the mix. So We'll see. Uh, one of the things I'm watching this weekend is the play of the offensive line. Uh, I think we're going to see more shuffling there. We'll see how that turns out. And then, obviously, the play of the defense. Uh, it's been up and down as well. Two really good games to start the season and two subpar performances. I wouldn't call um, what we've seen out of the defense necessarily bad, but it hasn't been great. Not what what was expected after the first two games of the season with the fast start so we'll see uh, a lot of football left to be played the months of october and november are the critical months in college football so we'll see if the roadrunners are able to continue their trend of performing well in conference play they've done so the last three seasons under jeff trailer so uh you'd have to think they're able to turn this thing around and get things back on the track so We'll see how the team performs this weekend in Temple. And, you know, one of the things I mentioned that I was going to be watching for is the play of the defense. Uh, defensive line, specifically, that's been a group that has been pointed out as one of the deepest on the team. Uh, a lot of talent there, a lot of guys seen playing time. Today on the 13 Questions podcast, we talk with a member of the UTSA defensive line also known as the Everybody Eats EBE squad. Uh, defensive lineman Osiris Simon joins me on the podcast. Pretty interesting talk with Osiris. Uh, good guy. Um, learned a lot about him, a, a little bit more than, you know, kind of what I, I knew. Uh, like I said, good guy, kind of outgoing, uh, soft-spoken, but if you watch any of, like, the hype videos UTSA makes while they're warming up from practices, you've seen Osiris kind of be a motivator, and, you know, he's a key cog in that defensive line and the defense overall, so a uh, pretty interesting conversation with Osiris. Hope you guys enjoy it. The UTSA defensive lineman Osiris Simon on the 13 Questions Podcast. JJ Perez here with Inside Runner Sports. Uh, 13 Questions Podcast with uh, defensive lineman Osiris Simon. Cyrus, I started this podcast last year. Yeah, it's a bunch of random questions, just trying to get to know, get to get to know the guys yeah. a little bit better. Right, like, right, right. Off the field, I dig so it. So, I ask everybody the same thirteen questions. So Who's here. All right, question number one: mm. You have to pick a chore or obligation to do for one year, but if you make it the whole year, you never have to do it for the rest of your life. So basically, something you don't like, mm. you get to knock out forever. Like a chore, right? Yeah, yeah. Something around the house or something. Man. Probably 
Yeah, I say clean my car. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I say clean my car. I don't think I, like, I heard that. Yeah, because I, like I like to clean up the crib. I yeah. like to clean up my house. It gives me, like, uh, it's, like, therapeutic to me. So I like cleaning up on Sundays. But cleaning my car, that's a drag. Yeah, you had a lot of stuff in there right now? Yeah. Nah, not right now. It's cool because I just cleaned it last week. But it probably won't get clean for another two months. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Question number two. Can you describe how you are as a spectator watching football on TV? Uh, honestly, I'm like a, um, I really don't even watch football, but when I do watch football, I'm like a, I'm like a coach, coach my position. Okay. So like if a play was to happen, if I see a defensive lineman do something like wrong or something, I'd be like, why did he didn't just do this? Like, yeah. So yeah. I'm really that type, but I'm real observant because I like to coach like the players. I don't even positions. I don't even play as well. Yeah. Just yeah. Thinking I, I know everything. You. So you go back and rewind. Nah, I don't nah, do that. I, I just let it play because I like to watch it live. I want to feel like I'm there in the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Question number three. What is the app on your phone that you love using and think other people should know about? Could be a common app or just maybe something you like specifically. Can it be a game? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got to take my phone out. Yeah, go for it. I think everybody should play this game. Uh, what game is this called? It's called Hunter Assassin 2. Uh-huh. That's what I play every day on my phone. I think everybody should get that. I'm on level, like, 40 right now. Yeah. It's and like I, a shooting game or it's something? Definitely yeah. a shooting game. Yeah. It's addicting. All you got to do is just drag your finger across the screen, and you got to hide from people, and then you get to kill people. So. Oh, that's awesome. I got I checked that out. I like to get a game in now and now uh, and then just to, like, break things up. Before you know? the bed, you know, uh, before bed, it's, it's a game while you – doing your little you know yeah. it's a game yeah. so i got you yeah no that's a good one question number four if you were allowed to relocate anywhere where else would you want to live and why mm, that's a good one sheesh what would i want to live probably man mm. i say i want to go to colorado okay just yeah. for the for the weather because oh, yeah I'm um I've been in I've been in Texas all my life. Yeah. So uh I'm really not a uh like a cool weather type guy, but I definitely love dressing for the cool weather. Yeah. So yeah. I love to stay in like jackets and I love to stay in sweatpants. Yeah. So that's why I, I really want to live there too. Well, ho- hopefully and, hopefully we'll hit that weather here sometime soon. Not as good as there though. It'll never man, be that good. You know how they say they say it's gonna snow one year and it never yeah. never snows. Got you. Question number five. When you see a hater on Twitter or social media, what do you do? Do you block, mute, ignore? I don't think I've ever seen you engage or go back and forth. Like, yeah. well, what's your policy on that? Uh, just ignore it. You yeah. know, uh, it's there for a reason. So, it's, you know. It's hard, though, right? Like, there's a lot of lot of, lot of of it out there, right? Uh, it's funny. It's funny to me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't look, ever look at it from, like, a negative standpoint because, they don't actually know what's going on in house, yeah, so I, I just always look at it from a, a, a positive standpoint. L- looking at it can be funny, yeah, yeah. and then at the same time, if the, if the comment is true, then it's true. So you, right, you, there's you, nothing wrong with you a know, little constructive criticism. You know, right? maybe, exactly. maybe it makes you look at things a little exactly. different. I'm the same way. Yeah. Uh, next question: What makes you laugh during football games? Uh, I can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Probably, like, all right. I'm gonna be honest. Probably just like the lineman, you know, like when you when you you going to a game thinking like, all right, this we finna it's gonna be a dog eat dog up in this game. It's gonna yeah. be a battle, and then you touch me like, uh, a little bit, little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna right, be, you know. Right. So that makes me kind of kind of smile and stuff when I'm in the game. I got you. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Uh, who is a person you would be starstruck if you met them? Starstruck is crazy. Um, oh, that's a good one. Starstruck. Because I didn't seen some people, and I ain't just yeah. never just like, oh, my God, that's... But probably a comedian. Probably okay. like Martin Lawrence or Mike oh, Gibbs. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd probably be like, oh, snap. Like, yeah. Oh, those like, guys are hilarious. Yeah. Who's the most f- famous person you've met so far? See, I ain't, I haven't met none of them because I'm just not the type of dude to be like, oh, snap, there's yeah. him, and I go yeah. up to him. Or you see him? But I seen him, but yeah. 
I think the most famous is just probably what, uh, probably by James Harden. Okay, Houston, yeah, that's, about oh, that's cool. Yeah. Question number eight: What do you do to make yourself feel better when you're having a crappy day? Man, um, I pray. Gotta stay prayed up. I okay. pray and uh, just try to just pray and just ask God for peace. Yeah. Peace of mind. Just He gonna always deliver. You real? You real religious? Uh. I try to I try to be uh prayed up, you know. Okay. I try to just stay prayed up. I don't really try to uh you know, try to do too much and make it too complicated for yeah, myself. I you got know. you. Yeah, makes sense. Good deal. Question number nine. Have you achieved your childhood dream? Nope. Uh I'm still pushing, I'm still at it. Yeah, you what know is what I'm it? Saying? Of course going to that NFL, but yeah. really the big dream is to get my mama and my family a crib and you know, yeah. a, the big crib and have all their bills paid for. My mama a house to retire. My mama retire. My daddy, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. that's a, that's a good one. I know, I know a lot of guys have like playing D one yeah. as, as a dream too, because yeah. like not a lot of people make it. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. That was definitely because I remember growing up as a kid, you know, going to the football games. I'm thinking people in college, like man, these dudes look like they seven feet tall. Right. You know, yeah. so it was always a dream and blessing just to get here. Uh, next question: What life lessons from a young age stick with you now as a young adult? Man, that's a good one. Um, really, just uh, trust the process and, and and man, stay uh, like give out good energy to people because you never know. Uh, it's full circle. Everything comes back around to you. So I just try to give out great energy. You know, I'm still working on that. I ain't perfect, but I definitely try to give good energy to people and uh. I definitely try to stay uh, trusting the process because it can get hard and it's going to get hard and it will get hard. But you got to stay prayed up and stay stay down, man. Good one. Good one. Question number 11 of 13. What is the single most important skill that a football player must possess? Uh, a mindset to to compete, a mindset to be a dog, a mindset just to, to want it more than somebody else and always be able to look in the mirror and critique yourself and be able to take criticism. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Question number 12 of 13. You have to lose all of your memories in your football career, mm. but you get to keep one. One. F what football memory do you want to hold on to forever? See, I, I, you know, everybody probably said the conference championship. Yep, yep. You know, that's dope. But when I was in Little League, I remember I had the ball. I remember they gave me the ball, and it was my first year playing football. And they gave me the ball at running back. And I remember uh, – I broke to like three defenders, and then like the rest of the team just got on me, and like they was trying to bring me down. And before the referee blew the whistle, I just came up out the pile and I scored the touchdown. Like everybody from the sideline just ran and followed me. That's one of the memories, man. I never forget. That's I was awesome. like seven years old, awesome. so I, I never forget that. How, how long right did there. you play at running back for? Man, I, I played running back since like so from all the way from little league, and I started at seven. And when did I stop? Probably my uh, my last year in middle school, my eighth grade year was my yeah. last year at running back. Yeah. That's when awesome. I got to high school, it was strictly defense. All right, Cyrus Simon. Last question, question Let's thirteen of the thirteen questions podcast. What, what's it like uh, with the EBE guys? Not not everybody knows what EBE means. I guess tell me what that is, what that mentality is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's it like being part of that crew? Man, EBE. So that's basically everybody eats. Uh, it's just a it's just a real brotherhood. It's a great culture. It's a great family, you know. So we try to stay family oriented up in there. Yeah. Everybody really open with each other. So we never like, you know, if I was to do something wrong, I expect, you know, somebody like Joe, or, you know, from the youngest dude up in there, Vic, yeah. you know, baby. I expect them yeah. just to to tell me what I did wrong, and I should be able to be like, I right, bet, you know, fix that, continue on about it. You know, that's the type of group we are. You know, everybody, you know, we might seem a little, a little throw it off. Yeah. But, you know, we all selfless and we all, you know, because everybody want that. I, I got to make that play. Right. I, I want I want yeah. this. You know, it got to be about me. Yeah. But when you playing nine different guys and everybody can rotate, it yeah. got to say something about selfless up yeah. in there. So, man, we very selfless and we know how to work together and we know how to be a, a team. We got to grow. We got more to do. But yeah. We, we on the right so, path. So, like, people don't know there's three defensive line positions, and y'all mm -hmm. play three guys at each spot, nine dudes. Nine so dudes. Y'all y'all, running in and out of the game. In and like, out of the game. Like, sometimes in between plays. In between plays. And, like, that's got to be hard, though, right? Yeah. Like, yeah you give up your rep to, to man, the next guy, right? Yeah, that's definitely, like, at times it can be frustrating for sure. 
And you know, you don't cause like you, you want that you want that like I said, you want that big play moment. Yeah. And so and it just at times it yes it definitely can be frustrating, but you gotta just trust the process, man, because you want everybody to eat. You want yeah. you want just when you when you start doing better and your brother start doing better and your other brother start doing better, man, bring more eyes to the yeah. program. Yeah. And then y'all all can do big things and not just Oh, he doing this thing, but everybody else slacking out because he want to be selfish with the time. No, yeah, yeah. the more people that eat, the more eyes we get, and then the more young people that's gonna come to the program and build the program back up. Awesome, that's a great answer. That well, that'll wrap it up. I appreciate you man. joining me on the Thirteen Questions podcast. This Thanks. is dope, man. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, thank yes, you. Sir. All right, I was a Cyrus Simon on the Thirteen Questions podcast. Uh, man, pretty interesting guy. I I I never knew he was a. Uh, Pee Wee football running back. It sounded like uh, that may have been his path before he switched over to defense. But yeah, interesting, interesting guy. Uh, uh, I'm always, I'm always wanting to learn more about the everybody eats mentality that that group has because those guys are kind of like a different breed when it comes to football players because. I mean, it's hard. These guys are running on and off the field in the middle of drives. They're doing things that, you know, you normally don't see out of football players. I mean, maybe you get a backup guy in there, but I don't think most teams run a three deep defensive line. So there's a lot of self selflessness there. And uh, I don't think people realize that. So I appreciate Osiris talking about that extent extensively and uh yeah just overall good conversation so hope you guys enjoy it uh we'll see what the roadrunners do this weekend at temple appreciate everybody listening we'll be back next week with another episode of the 13 questions podcast thanks everyone <laughs>